In this video, I will show you how to browse the internet on your Roku TV. Now, like you already know, one of the major issues of having a Roku device or buying a Roku TV is the fact that the Roku operating system does not allow users to actually browse the internet. So for instance, if you come over to your streaming channel, which is basically the Roku app store, and then you try searching for any browser app from inside of this streaming channel, you will find out that there are actually no browsers in the Roku streaming channel. So if you scroll over here under all of these categories over here, there are actually no browsers app or anything like the google chrome browser the firefox browser are available for you to download and install on your roku tv and this makes it very difficult to sideload third-party apps which is obviously what roku is trying to stop users from doing on their operating system but if you already have a roku tv or a roku device and you still want to be able to browse on the internet then i'm going to give you a very simple solution that would work definitely for you and that would be to get an android tv stick or an android tv box just like this one over here now you see this is the me tv stick it is basically a very cheap device that you can connect to your roku tv or any roku streaming device and it automatically gives that tv or that streaming device the android operating system that it needs to be able to sideload any browser to your TV or your Roku device. Now this device is also very cheap and I'm going to be leaving links to some of the affordable places you can actually get it in the description of this video so you can go ahead and get one for yourself. Once you get it, it basically has a HDMI dongle so you can go ahead and connect it to any of the HDMI ports on your TV and then what you want to do at this point is to come over to your Roku remote control then select the particular input source where the device is connected to on your Roku TV. Now mine as you can see over here is connected to HDMI 1 so I'll go ahead and select it you can literally see the name of the device over here now this automatically launches the me tv stick device on my roku tv interestingly this device also comes with its own remote control so you can use it to control the tv once your me tv stick is connected to the tv now what you just want to do is to go ahead and connect this device to your wi-fi network and once it is connected you want to head over to the google play store over here then go ahead and search and download any browser into your tv usually i like to use the tv bro browser which is a very popular browser and if you come over here you can literally see the tv bro browser i have already downloaded it so i'll go ahead and open it up directly from here and basically this is how the browser actually looks like so you can go ahead and search for anything from the top over here so i can come over to this search input field and enter my url i want to visit so i can go ahead and search for facebook from over here and it will automatically open facebook for me on the browser also if i come over here you can see some default websites so i can come over here and open wikipedia or search on google or do anything with this particular browser now this is basically the only option you can use to browse on your Roku TV because the Roku TV currently does not support browsers except maybe in the future they actually release a default browser for Roku TVs generally but for now this is actually the only option you have to still be able to browse on your Roku TV. If you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.